Hey YouTube, um, I've been asked to do a couple of videos um, on how to dust your food and stuff. Um, I keep all, well, as much of the supplies I can in there. Uh, you got your housing for the shedding and stuff, your bug grub, uh, calcium drops for in the water, that's good stuff. I try not to use that, it's the uh, deodorant to stop them from smelling on the inside but if you change the change the substrate enough it'll stop them smelling anyway um, bit of moss extra tubs and stuff here's I got a diary for each one of my couples or reptiles so you can keep an eye on their feeding maybe their breeding just keep an overall eye on them um, I use a vegetable Tupperware box with a clip-on lid. Um, I've already dusted them. But this is what I use in here. It needs filling up, but it's just a shaker, flour shaker. It's fine. Chocolate shaker. Fill it up with calcium. Give it a good wash first, and then you literally just take the lid off, dust them. I've already dusted them, but there you go. Um, with Amy, she's still really skittish, so I try and feed her inside of a viv. Uh, otherwise, she just she'll panic or she'll run off. Um, she don't mind being on me, but as soon as she sees Vinny, which is just across, across the way, she uh, she panics. Um, I'll show you how I feed Eva. She's a gannet, fat little girl. With crickets, I hello, sweetheart. With crickets, I don't leave them in the vivs. I normally keep a hold of the cricket. Is that okay, sweetheart? There you go. Keep a hold of the cricket with the tweezers because I don't like the crickets being left in the, the vivs because they can bite, especially the black crickets. They're highly carnivorous. Um, basically, if you catch them and keep a hold of them, Come on, Eva. Here we go. And do that, because um, I don't like uh, when crickets escape inside the vids because they can, they can cause damage to your reptile. Um, locusts are a different thing. I do let locusts just jump around in there. There might be a couple in here now. Let's see if I can find them. Unless they've eaten them all. Which it looks like they have. Uh, get one out. Right. They love to chase these big ones around. I don't let these fly about though because my girlfriend's scared of them. So. Pick them up. If you're with me. I tend not to calcium the locusts, I do, but I, I just let them run, a, run about, to be honest with you. You would no doubt she would get there. Come on, sweetheart. Hey, you. Join him. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Um. But normally, I'll just chuck several in as they are, when you can get them. Several in as they are, just chuck them in, let them chase them, and then another half of whatever I put in, I'll, the calcium, with the shaker. Sebastian's a different thing because his viv's so big sometimes he's too lazy to go hunting so I have to kind of hold the locust there but I let five or six run around and if he gets hungry he can hunt them at night um, I'll make a video of feeding Vinny he's just he's on a diet at the minute um, because he's a when I rescued him he didn't have a bulb so I think he's got some digestive problems so I'm just going to let him flush that out um, but yeah, that's it. All you need is your pot for your crickets to 
to calcium them. Your calcium dust. Uh, I can't find the big tub at the minute, but I need to refill him. And uh, try not to let your crickets get loose in the vivs because, like I say, they can bite. Um, locusts tend not to bite as much. So, there you go. Um, I'll speak to you soon. Thanks for watching.